is getting a music production degree actually worth it? That's the question that I'm going to answer in this video. So if you want to find out about the pros and the cons of music production degree programs, if you want to find out what the costs are that are attached to these and what you actually get for your money, then stick around because this video is exactly what you need. Now, I highly recommend that you watch this video till the very end because not only am I going to share with you my personal unfiltered opinion about music production degrees and universities, and by the way, I do have some insider information that you don't wanna miss, but also I'm going to share with you a couple of alternatives that just help you make that decision and give you something to choose from, also including some pros and cons and my personal recommendation. So without further ado, let's jump right in. If you don't know who I am, my name is Philip from Pick Yourself and I run a mixing and mastering studio as well as music production facility here in Berlin, specializing in electronic music. I do this full time for many years. And yes, I think that's important for this specific topic. Now, the reason I'm highlighting this is because I think it's important to consider the opinion of someone who walks the walk and not only talks the talk. So I make a full time living in the music industry. I get applications by upcoming music producers all the time who want to intern, who want to become assistant engineers, producers, and so on and so forth. And yes, I see their trajectories on their CVs. I see what they went through, and many of them have taken these kinds of classes, by the way. But also, I have a special personal connection to these kinds of universities. So first of all, what's been my personal journey in this field? Well, I'm 100% self-taught. I read tons of nerd books at night. I did a lot of trial and error producing bands of my friends, my own band and so on and so forth until eventually I had enough trial and error under my belt and slowly upgrading the equipment from time to time until I made the decision to go into this full time. It took me many years, a lot of trial and error and also I'm so glad that I had some mentors on the way that have shown me the path here and there and prevented me from some big mistakes along the way. Does that now mean that I'm against taking university courses, joining music production degree programs? Not at all. I was actually hired a couple of years ago to work as a freelance tutor and give workshops, master classes, lectures at a really well-known music production university here in Berlin called Catalyst Institute for Creative Arts and Technology. And I had a lot of fun and this is what I mean with insider knowledge because I can share the experience from both sides basically. So while I was teaching there at this music production university, I got to see it from the inside. I got to find out what the students are actually getting from this music production degree program. And I think I have a really good idea of what the pros and cons really look like. So let me share them with you now so you can make your own estimated guess and decision on what to do with your life. So let me first of all share the pros with you. And honestly, I was secretly jealous sometimes of the life that the students had there. I sometimes wished I was be able to go back in time, be their age and go through that course because a lot of the things were very positive about that university. So the first and biggest benefit in my opinion is the network that you're building during your time at such a music production university. These interpersonal connections and relationships that you build, not only with students but also with teachers, I think this is something like no other place can offer you. It's not like getting to know someone on Reddit or on a Discord channel. While this can also lead to good interaction in the future, I think there's something special to be said of being in the same room for a longer period of time with peers that are trying to build something the same way that you want to build something. Now, in all honesty, I think 95% of students there are in the end not going to end up being artists, music producers, mixing engineers, and so on, because their life changes, their interests change, and also... Sometimes they just don't have the courage to go all in at some point. But the remaining 5% are typically the outliers. These are people that are incredibly good at what they do, have the right mindset, and those are the kind of people you want to surround yourself with in the future. The second big benefit of joining a music production degree program is that you get some structure. And some people just thrive with that structure. You get a curriculum that's really well laid out beforehand. You get a timetable that you can follow. And if you struggle with self-organization, then this is definitely something that helps you. Then on the other hand, I must say that at a certain point in life, you actually have to get your shit together and learn how to manage yourself. And if you want to do this freelance later on, there's just no way around this. So you have to learn this really early on. And sometimes this comfort of the structure can also yeah, be a bit problematic in the future if you hold on to this for too long. The third big benefit, in my opinion, is that you are being exposed to different teachers. And this is fantastic because you get to learn from very different 
yeah, perspectives in the music industry and they have all had their unique path, their unique career and you can pull the best bits and pieces basically out of everyone you encounter at these schools. I think that's a fantastic benefit and something that you don't want to miss. The last benefit in my opinion is access to gear and studios. Yes, gear costs a ton, studios cost a ton and this is basically the biggest selling point that these universities use. They give you nice pictures of amazing gear and super well-treated rooms with great acoustics and you get this feeling of, yeah, I get to work in a professional studio. Now, um, on the one hand, that's great because you learn about the big studio workflow. You get to experience gear firsthand that you would usually not be able to afford at this stage on your path. But then, to be honest, on the other hand, I also think that this is not the thing you necessarily need. So if you have a laptop, a good pair of headphones and a decent audio interface, you can pretty much get the same results. I have to be, I have to be brutally honest with you. And while I personally love great gear on the one hand, like everyone does, if I'm really being honest with you, like nothing prevents you here. The gear is not the bottleneck. It never is. And yeah, you have to consider that. So nice pictures, Great access to gear, but probably not the thing that you absolutely need. Now that you have a good idea of the pros of joining a music production degree program, let's quickly talk about the cons. And then you can make your own estimated decision, weigh the pros and cons and come to a conclusion that feels true to you. So the first big con, and this is really high up on the list, is the enormous fees you have to pay. So one of the really well-known schools like Berkeley or Full Sail, they're gonna charge you 70, 80 thousand dollars for this type of program. And to be honest with you, this is an enormous investment. Now, I know that this is like culturally a little bit different in the United States, in the UK, compared to what we're used to experience here in Germany with mostly free education. But to be honest with you, I think there's a difference between going to law school, paying a ton of money and exactly knowing that you will make this money back if you become a lawyer. I think there's something different with making a living out of music, being in debt for many years until eventually you kind of make it, have your breakthrough, build a successful studio. Yes, you can do a lot of things to eventually get there, but it's not like a guaranteed thing that you will be able to pay back your student loan. Yeah, so you have to be the kind of person that is being able to take that kind of risk. And I must admit, not all schools are that expensive. So if you join some of the lesser well-known schools, it's going to be something between 20, 30, 50 thousand dollars per year, something around that. But in the end, still, it means an enormous investment. And no matter what music production degree program you will join, it's going to cost you serious money. All right. After this initial shock of the enormous fees, let's take a deep breath and go to number two. Because maybe this investment is worth it, right? Well, once again, I must say it depends on what you're looking for because one-on-one -on -one tuition is definitely not something you're getting or at least not to the degree that you wish you would get. So most of these music production universities have classrooms and one teacher, many students. That's like a typical thing that we know from school. Some of them have a mixture between classroom and then a little bit of one-on-one -on -one attention, but it's definitely not like someone is just specifically focused on you, helping you personally overcome a specific obstacle and getting you personally results that maybe don't even follow the curriculum of the university. So if you are looking for one-on-one -on -one attention, then a music production degree university course might not be the right thing for you. And very closely related to that, my third con is that studio time and time with gear is highly limited because it's a scarce resource. The reason being is there's a lot of students but only a limited amount of classrooms, studios, gear and so on and so forth. So on the one hand you imagine that you will always have access to these studios all the time and then reality will hit you very hard when you actually enroll in these universities and you have to fight for your slots with the gear, your slots with the music and yeah, this is really difficult because most people come with a very different imagination of what it's going to be like. All right, I've said already that gear and studios is not like the bottleneck for your future career. So let's maybe talk about teachers now. Well, to be very honest with you, with teachers, it's kind of a hit and miss. This is the problem. So you have this typical bell curve distribution of some phenomenal teachers on the one hand, then a lot of good, okay teachers in the middle, 
and then some really bad apples on the other hand. And of course, the bad apples can ruin your whole year there if you spend a lot of time with them. You feel like you're not getting the value you're supposed to get. And I have to bring it to you. Some people are just ending up at the universities frustrated because they couldn't make a full-time living in the music industry. Now, this is really, really hard to say from me. And I totally also empathize with these kinds of people that are yeah, just not feeling it anymore. I must also say, in my personal experience at Catalyst, I had a very positive experience overall with the teachers. But I've heard so many stories from other schools and, I mean, sometimes also within that school that people were not that um, happy about the teachers that they spent time with. And I just must, in all honesty, mention this fact. It's a hit or miss and you can just hope to be lucky there. All right, I have one final con for you and this is going to be a shock for some of you, but in all honesty, no one in the music industry is going to care about your degree. No one will give a damn. Now, there are a ton of things that myself and also other engineers, producers who are hiring people watch out for. And that is things like having an impeachable character, the right attitude, work ethic. Of course, the skills you've built over time, but it doesn't really matter where you got them. Just important to have them. And also just being a kind of growth-minded person that wants to go on this journey of growth together with us as the leaders in this field. Yeah, your degree absolutely doesn't matter. And most of the time when I get applications and I look at the CV of people, well, to be honest with you, I don't give a damn about whether they join one of these programs or not. But what makes a difference is if they can send me a portfolio of their work, for example. Now, someone who has spent three years getting this degree, in some cases, might not have that portfolio after that time. Whereas someone who was self-organized and learned it the hard way might end up with a couple of releases under their belt that they worked for themselves or for other bands or producers. And in the end, they can show me something. It's kind of a living proof of what they've done. So consider this when making your decision. In the end, it comes down to very simple character traits, beliefs, and a skill set, and it doesn't really matter where you actually got that from. Now, does that mean that I would never hire someone from such a music production university? Not at all. This is once again a false assumption. I just don't give a damn whether they have this type of degree or not. Actually, my current assistant that I'm training right now in my studio, he is still enrolled in one of these universities, and I'm actually glad that he learns a ton of things along the way there. All right, by now you should have a good idea of the pros and cons of whether joining a music production degree course makes sense for you or not. And you can come to your own conclusion. But what about the alternatives? Let's quickly talk about that as well. Well, the first and most obvious alternative is YouTube tutorials. They are free, they are everywhere. So why not just learn by yourself with YouTube? So to be honest with you, there's a reason why I'm producing content on YouTube. I really think there are absolute gems to be found and I try my best to be one of these gems again and again every single week. But to be honest with you, it's really hard to cut through all of that noise. There's a lot of mediocre infotainment content out there and actually by people who haven't walked the walk and only talk the talk, which are more YouTubers than producers and engineers in their real life. And so I find it very difficult to put that into perspective for someone who is still a little bit overwhelmed and cannot really put the pieces together. And so you will get a lot of conflicting advice by different sources. You're not sure who to trust and who not to trust. To be honest with you, I think YouTube can be a great supplement of inf information and help you along the way, but it's not going to replace all other forms of learning. The second alternative is online courses. And personally, I have a love-hate relationship with online courses. So let me quickly explain why. So what I love about online courses is that they give you a very specific solution to a very specific problem in typically a very limited time frame, And that is awesome. Now, just to give you an example, my online course, The Prolific Producer, helps electronic music producers finish great sounding music consistently. My goal is to help you get to one finished great sounding song per month at a minimum. That is the very specific outcome. We have a very specific problem, which is I can't finish tracks. A very specific outcome. I want to finish at least one great sounding track per month. And in between, we have the online course that tries to bridge that gap together with you. Now, the big problem with online courses, and I have to be honest about this downside, even as a course creator, is that they lack this element of accountability. Meaning, you enroll in a program, you get access, you watch the lessons, but then it's up to you to actually implement everything. Plus, what happens if you have a question? 
And I try to mitigate this in my own course, for example, by giving people the option to comment under each lesson and I will always have in-depth replies to help them over a certain obstacle. Plus also can, people can book additional one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. All of that is possible to mitigate the whole problem. But overall, this is just something for people who are really active self-learners and a lot of people just need that extra kick in the butt, this accountability. And this is something that online courses most of the time can't offer. Now, the second big problem with online courses is that they differ a lot in quality and price. So the price range is typically something between $100 and $1,000, but it can also go to the other edges, $20 to $2,000. And not always does the quality correlate with the price. So you can get an amazing program for $200. You can get a scam for $2,000. All of that is possible. And very often the online course creators are excellent at marketing, but not so great at actually delivering a great product. And this overall is a problem for this industry. So you just have to find very trustworthy sources where you consume their free material, figure out whether that is legit or not, and then enroll in something that's paid. Now let's come to the final and in my opinion, best alternative to music production degree programs. And that is joining a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So what is that and why is it beneficial? Now, what I love the most about one-on-one -on -one coaching programs is that they are so personalized and tailor-made for you and your specific problems. And this is basically impossible in a music production degree program. It's also impossible to deliver in an online course. And if you work with an experienced coach and mentor in the music industry over an extended period of time, let's say at least three months, but in the best case scenario, at least a year, then you will be a different person. You will have experienced so much growth and you can accelerate the path that would normally take you five or 10 years and condense it down to one to three years. The price for these types of programs typically ranges between $3,000 and $10,000 depending on the time frame and the intensity of the program. But overall, let's be honest, I think this gives you a way better return on investment than a lot of the other options on the table. So getting this one-on-one -on -one attention is obviously the biggest benefit. But besides that, you will also benefit from a 360 degree approach. So typically a coach or mentor in the music industry can not only help you with the music production related stuff, but also talk about things like the music career planning, actually helping you and getting the support from someone who has walked the walk before you. And then obviously stuff that is just generally related to personal growth. So most of my coaching students have actually come out of this program being a different person in a way, in a very positive way. So a lot of growth has happened also on the personal side of things, meaning they became more efficient in the way they work. They got their stuff together better. They get things done now. They are more organized, even if they are really creative personalities. But yeah, we need help with all of these aspects. And I think a one-on-one -on -one coaching program is the best solution to this problem. All right, so if this sounds exciting to you now and you at least consider joining a one-on-one -on -one coaching program or you want to find out more about what that actually entails, then go to pickyourself.com slash coaching. The link is in the description and you get the chance to have a free one-on-one -on -one call with me personally to ask all the questions you have. We'll find out where you currently are, what problems you are facing and where you want to go with your music and we'll figure out what way might lead from A to B and how we can help you get there pickyourself.com slash coaching. The slots are honestly quite limited because it's attached to the personal time of me and the other coaches working for me. So go there, book your slot and I will see you then. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I would love to hear from you in the comments. What is your biggest takeaway? What do you think of this topic? And I will see you in the next video.